Welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel. In today's video series, I wanna take you step by step and how to make a Flemish twist bowstring. So stick around, we got a great show coming up. All right, folks, so I wanna welcome you back. Now, here's the bow that I wanna make the string for. This is Osage Orange. I have a nice even bend, a nice taper from the tips going into the handle. It's blended in well but I need to string this up and see what it's really doing because I'm entering into the final tillering stages. Now I like to use Fast Flight compared to B50, Fast Flight string that is, and it performs much better. You get a quicker arrow cast and there's less stretch. So it'll stretch out for the first 20, 25 pulls or so and then after that it settles into place. So what I wanna do is I wanna make two bundles of nine and that'll equal 18. And I always go about three feet longer than the bow. So I'll show you how I do that right now. I just take my roll and I'll go from the tip and I'll stretch this out. Like I said, about three, three and a half feet longer than the bow stave. Well, here's our two bundles of nine. And what I wanna do is I wanna just take a beeswax cube and run this through and get a nice good coating on the string. So Fast Fly is a synthetic string and uh, it does come somewhat waxed, but you want to run a few coats over it. That'll help protect it. All right, there's one, and we'll do the same thing to this one. It's good to make these strings on a warm day because the wax tends to melt and uh, it really penetrates the fibers. All right, so we have both strings pretty well coated with wax and I wanna show you how I make my Flemish twist. Here's my two tag ends. You can see I trim these pretty well even and I wanna trace down about six, five, six inches or so, and we're going to twist this up. Making reverse wrap two ply cordage. Now when you do this, you wanna twist up nice and tight. You want these fibers to really bind down on each other. And the reason for that is if you have a weak bowstring, it could fail during the shot. And if the string fails, the bow can break. That's actually a really common break in bow making. So the best strings that I've found is definitely synthetic material. So B50, Fast Flight, but also Sinew and Gut. Uh, Yucca will work. It makes a really weak string. So if you have Sinew, Sinew will definitely work quite well. It's a very strong natural fiber. Now I have pin knocks on this bow so I don't need a really big loop. I'll just twist this up a couple more times and we'll see where we're at. Alright, so we need a little bit more. And let's see where we're at. couple more and that should be good so at this point we have the top that's twisted up I'm gonna actually get these a little bit tighter and from here we feed these two tag ends 
into the string. A couple more twists. Some of the bottom came undone, and that's pretty common. All right, and that should be good. So I'll just take this and we'll loop it on to the main body of the string and I'll pinch and I've just twist this into itself. Again, get these fibers tight. And you can see what we're getting at. We have a small loop up top. And that'll go around the knock. Now as I continue to twist, I'm starting to enter into the main body of the string. And I go about an inch or so into that body. That just blends everything in and it keeps everything together. So I'll go a few more wraps and then we're going to twist the body of the string together and get the fibers nice and tight. And that's the part that really takes a little while. Okay, so that should be about good. You can see what we're looking at. So this loop, once again, it'll go around the knock of the bow and that'll hold down nice and tight. So at this point, you'll see that the wrap is twisting towards me. I just take the body of the string and I twist that in. And as I twist, I'm stretching the string out. So that's what it should look like. You have your reverse wrap two ply, and then it starts getting into the body of the string. And the body of the string is twisted together and the fibers are locked into each other. And when twisting up a string like this, you can see how the beeswax can become very beneficial, a heavy coat, because it'll lock all these fibers together. And I just continue on until I reach the end of my string. And once I do that, I'll be right back with you.